Hi everyone, what's up? It is Francesca here from Small City Plants and I am so glad you could join me today as I show you a couple exciting things and really just mainly repot my ficus alii. So, all right, not a long intro, let's just do it. <laughs> Okay, so before I jump into repotting this plant, I wanna show you something that I picked up today. This is a jewel orchid. It's a really beautiful plant. It's uh, a Ludicia discolor var albo. I think I got that right. So I picked it up today. It's still very young. Uh, so I have this kind of really makeshift cloche that I'm keeping it in to keep it nice and humid, but I wanted to show you that. I'm really excited about that plant and I also have to show you because it's right here. My Hoya Thompsonii has bloomed. such beautiful white flowers and they have a really really strong floral scent to them but yeah they're absolutely beautiful they opened last night and the way I could tell is that as I came into my living room even from inside the greenhouse I'm like what is that smell uh it's not a bad smell at all unless you bring it up really close and then it's way too sweet and almost spicy. My husband doesn't agree with the spicy thing, but I think there is like almost like a cinnamon candy underlying it, um, but absolutely beautiful flowers. And yeah, I'm so excited I got this to bloom so quickly. I'm gonna put it back in the cabinet. Keep it nice and humid. And so today I'm going to repot my ficus alii, which is right here. So this plant I got a couple weeks ago. It's really beautiful. It's putting out so much new growth. I'm not sure how well it's gonna focus on all this, but trust me when I say it's pushing out new growth all over the place. But the soil feels super compacted. Let me see if I can show you. So the soil here just feels super compacted. The white stuff on top is diatomaceous earth but I also see some roots coming out the top. And even if I don't put her up a size, uh, I do have a pot here in case I wanna do that. But I think I wanna take her out and see if I can loosen this up and add some fresh soil in there. And I know that ficus are really finicky about being repotted, but sometimes it's just gotta be done, right? Okay. Without further ado, let me see if I can bring this down so you get a better look. Oh my gosh, there's roots in the bottom of here that have come off. You can't see them that well, but that came out pretty easily and it looks pretty root bound to me. Oh yeah. I don't wanna spill soil everywhere. Definitely root bound, definitely ready to go up a size. So I'm actually gonna go and take my wedding ring off because I don't like really getting into roots with this on. Uh, I'm going to also get some Dynamico, which I've never used before, but I have heard it does help to reduce some transplant shock. So I'll give it a try with this. It's not gonna do any harm, maybe it'll help. And I'm just gonna jump right into repotting, uh, going from a 10 inch up to a 12 inch.
Okay, so I think I've done as much as I'm going to here. I don't want to root, uh, disturb the root ball too much, and I'm sure some of you were already like, you already have, like you were so rough with it. But you know, if it's my mistake, it's my mistake. Don't worry about it. Um, I think this is, I think this is really important given the type of soil that it's in because I don't, I showed at one point uh, during this one of the kind of um, pieces of soil and it is so compacted, like this is rock hard and I just need these roots to get some air. Um, yeah, I think that like, you know, you gotta do what you think is best sometimes and Something I do um, throughout it, some of you as well may be like, why aren't you wearing gloves? Uh, when I'm doing repots that I'm nervous about, I tend not to wear gloves because I find it's much easier for me to feel the roots and feel where there's resistance so that I'm actually not damaging the plant. So sometimes, sometimes it pays not to wear gloves, in my opinion. I've actually started to make some headway in here. I can feel some of the soil give, so I'm gonna give it a few more minutes and then I'm gonna put her into the next size pot. I think we're good. Uh, looks like some beautiful roots on there. I'm gonna put some soil into the bottom of this pot whew, and start repotting her up. Pray for me. I also realized I forgot it to add my Myco. It is my first time using it, so we will see. There's actual measurements in here, like two grams or whatever, but. And I actually applied that directly to the roots. I think a pinch will be. 
we'll be fine. Okay, she's done. Uh, I'm gonna water this through thoroughly. I might need to top it off again as some of the soil settles, but overall, I think she looks great. I'm hoping she's gonna be much happier in this pot. Even though she's been growing really well, root bound, being root bound isn't an issue until it's an issue. So glad I managed to stop that one and try and get rid of some compacted soil. If she loses some leaves, so be it. But that's it. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today as I repot this beautiful ficus alii, as I just hide in the leaves. And I will see you uh, in the next video, I hope. Uh, if you did like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up uh, and comment any of your care tips for this beautiful plant. I will be posting new videos every week for 2023, and I hope that you'll consider subscribing and joining me in the next one. Have a good day.